Hello and welcome back to No BS. Today we return to talking about one of the biggest movie franchises of all time, one of the first cinematic universes too, in a way. I'm of course talking about James Bond. James Bond movies have been coming out since the 60s and the books have been coming out even longer. It's a big, big franchise that many people love dearly, mostly because of its charming main character, of course named James Bond, or 007 is his code name. For those who don't know, James Bond is an international world-renowned spy from the British Isles. He's a British man who spies on people. He goes on missions, saves the world, stops crimes and finds criminals, saves people from captivity, things like that. Typical spy fanfare, you know, going undercover, seducing a witness, getting things, codes, whatever you may be. You know, there's lots of different premises in the James Bond era in all his films and stuff. But today we're going to talk about the new movie and the anticipation for it and how people People are talking about a supposed new James Bond. This is something we've addressed before, something we've seen happen or want to happen over time. Basically, leftists have James Bond on their crosshairs. They've tried to change a lot of major movies and franchises, and usually they want to change them for the worse. They want to take them and manipulate them and make them their own. They don't want to create their own new characters. They don't want to make a new franchise or a new spy movie. So they say, hey, James Bond's looking pretty good. What can I use you for? And in this case, they're using James Bond for his name, for his legacy, and they want to blackwash and girlwash the character at the same time. Pretty ridiculous, but definitely something that's probably going to happen. This article has more details. It says, James Bond franchise kills itself. Lashana Lynch's character will inherit 007 titles. So I think what's happening with the new movie, we'll get into the details soon, but there's a movie that's supposed to come out. It was actually supposed to come out this year, but it got delayed because of obvious reasons. The virus closed all the movie theaters, so it might be coming out early next year. I'm not sure when, but basically this is going to be the last movie for the current James Bond. Daniel Craig has been playing James Bond for about 15 years now. He's a great actor, done a wonderful job, a really, really serviceable James Bond, which is a big legacy to live up to, too. Like I said, it's been going on for many decades, like 50 years, and yeah, it's been going on forever. There's been multiple great James Bonds. In fact, it's a good time to mention right now the original first James Bond just passed away. Sean Connery recently passed passed away of old age. Rest in peace. He was a great actor. He was a wonderful talent. And he's the one that really brought this James Bond character to life on the big screen many years ago. Now lots have changed. There's been many Bonds since then. And apparently they're trying to make it into this girl washed kind of minority thing for obvious reasons too. I mean, obviously woke people think that guys suck and they don't like white people. So they want to make all characters, not those demographics. So without further ado, let's read on before we move forward. This says the James Bond franchise has killed itself off by confirming that Lashana Lynch's character in the upcoming No Time to Die movie will inherit the title of 007. Harper's Bazaar published an interview with Lynch with the headline that reads Lashana Lynch on making history as the first black female 007. Yursa Daly Ward, who wrote the article, also stated, Today on a still Saturday morning in August, Lynch is doing precisely that, chatting to me warmly and directly about her latest and surely career-defining role in No Time to Die, the Bond franchise's 25th release, in which she started stars as Nami, the secret agent who inherits the 007 title while Bond himself is in exile. So this is already in the new movie, and I think what they're angling for is they're going to test the water and see if they can make a new series of movies with this chick. I think she's fine actress, actually. It's nothing really against her. I'm sure anyone would take this part if they were in her position. It's more about the system and how silly this setup is and how hard they're trying to force this female black Bond down our throats. This doesn't mean we have anything against those demographics. It has nothing against that. We don't care about hating on other people. We don't hate minorities or black people or women or anything like that. We love everyone. But the point is, James Bond has a long legacy. He's always been a white British man. He's always had this premise. If you're going to change it this much, you might as well make a new premise. And in a way, that's actually what's going on. The thing about this is, they're trying to kind of confuse you. They're trying to kind of mix things up because they have it saying, oh, she's the new 007. 007 is just the code name for James Bond. It's not like she's becoming James Bond. James Bond is still a person with the name James Bond. He had a codename 007. He might have another codename one day like Spider or Blue Tiger or something like that. I don't know why it has to be animals, but typically that's the kinds of codenames you see in some of these spy things. But basically the point is she's not like the new James Bond, even though they might present it that way, even though some people might kind of think about it in that terms. That's not how I meant to go fully in the intro, but it's kind of like a 
confusing thing because she's not replacing James Bond. Like, it's not becoming Janet Bond in a reboot or something like that. It's like, no, she's taking over his code name, which is just really a silly way of trying to make a spinoff or something. Like, it's just some kind of spinoff bait, some kind of new thing that they don't like the idea of using a, a very talented white male actor who also, admittedly, let's talk about the elephant in the room. I mean, there's another reason this is happening. James Bond has always been famous as like a womanizer. He's a bit of a ladies man. He always has hot chicks running around, especially in the older movies. There was a lot to do about him hooking up with chicks, having a hot Bond girl in the movie, as they put it. And sure, that's a tradition that still lives on in a lot of the new movies, but they've kind of removed a lot of his different quirks. Like he also used to smoke too. He used to have these other things like he took and he had lots of hookups with girls. He had multiple girls in multiple movies, things like that. They don't like, they just don't like successful men that women are attracted to. They don't like this persona of this like man's man. And that's why they're trying to beat it down and take it out of the public discourse. That's the point. And I think everyone can kind of see that coming. Later in the article, Daily Ward would add, we saw this as her nuanced, solid performance as the single mother and pilot Maria Rambo in last year's Captain Marvel, in which she successfully stretched the bounds of what a hero is meant to be. And we will see it again in her outing as the first ever female 007. While this article doesn't offer any quotes from Lynch confirming she will be 007, this is one that heavily implies she will be 007. Lynch stated, I am one black woman. If there were another black woman cast in the role, it would have been the same conversation. She would have got the same attacks, the same abuse. I just have to remind myself that the conversation is happening and that I'm part of something that will be very, very revolutionary. Lynch added. Well, let me just go ahead and tell you to tone it down. You're not breaking new ground here. You're not really this some kind of superhero. She acted like she's landing on the moon or something. It's like, no, you're taking advantage of woke SJW politics, rampant in our culture, and you're using it to pervert this beloved franchise and remove this white guy from a character that you're trying to replace. It shouldn't be surprising that she comes from the Captain Marvel movie. That was one of the biggest woke movies from last year. That was a big, big kind of disaster and media service circus around that. So the fact that she's from that movie makes a lot of sense. The fact that they're trying to remove James Bond from his own series is the more troubling part, especially for longtime Bond fans, especially for people that are interested in the series and to see, hey, why don't we have a new James Bond? That's interesting. Why not even have, I would even be more open to like a black male James Bond. A lot of people talked about having Idris Alba play James Bond. He's British. He's black. He's very, very strong and imposing and a man's man, basically. He does a lot of cool stuff. He could pull it off. But instead, they went with the double flip, the girl slash black wash. And that's what's brought us here today. And it's just really, really funny that it comes from an actress from Captain Marvel. According to Harper's Bazaar, this comment came in response to a discussion about the rumors that Lynch's character would be taking on the role of 007 in the film. These rumors surfaced back in July 2019. The Daily Mail reported Lynch would play Agent 007. Their source claimed there is a pivotal scene at the start of the film where M says, come on in, 007. 007, and in walks Lashana, who is black, beautiful, and a woman. It's a popcorn dropping moment. Bond is still Bond, but he's been replaced as 007 by the stunning woman, the source added. So that's another thing. This stunning woman. Okay, I don't want to say much more than that. I don't want to talk about looks too much again, but I don't know. I think they're getting a little over excited about that praise. That praise might not be totally justified. I'm not saying this person is ugly. I'm not saying I don't like her. I'm not saying anything more than this, but I will say they are overhyping how stunning and grand and beautiful. It really just r- sounds to me like th- how they say like those other alphabet people, they're stunning and brave. It's just like an over exaggeration. They're trying to over say, overstate, you know, just trying to act like these people are way more better and smarter and beautiful and awesome at everything when they're really not. And they're really not as badass as they claim. They try to make it like that. They give her the suit and the get up, but it's just hard to believe sometimes. I just don't, I don't like it. The same source would also claim that Craig's James Bond would attempt to seduce Lynch's 007. The source elaborated, Bond of course is sexually attracted to the new female 007 and tries his usual seduction tricks but is baffled when they don't work on a brilliant young black woman who basically rolls her eyes at him and has no interest in jumping into his bed. Well certainly not at the beginning so I don't know if that's going to hold strong but one thing I want to note before addressing this paragraph this is James Bond, the current one talking to Felix, the CIA agent and he was a blackwashed character too. This is a character that got blackwashed early on in this series, in this leg of James Bond movies. Now they want to blackwash the main character too. So this is something that's not wholly new. The other thing I want to point out is 
they're going with this super attractive thing they're like of course he's attracted to her oh my god she's so attractive how could he not be attracted to her and then they also go with the whole thing like oh she doesn't like james bond though she refuses his charms like she does not go for him he's they're trying to go <laughs> this is exactly what i was talking about before first of all this chick would be lucky to be with daniel craig honestly daniel craig is obviously a good looking dude strong smart confident all that good stuff so i don't get why they're trying to play him down and her up so much but actually i do i think the point is like i was saying before james bond is this typical ladies man he hooks up with a lot of chicks in the movies and he's become this kind of icon for badass guys for cool characters for good heroes that get lots of girls and this is something this is like the antithesis of what is good for sjw's they hate characters like this they hate anything masculine they think masculinity is toxic they think men that have women interested in them is a bad thing they don't like that so that's why he's getting attacked even more and that's why they're putting this into the script too that's why they're having this whole premise in the movie to kind of goof on 007 because of his history because of his film and his written history the source described the film as a bond for the modern era who will appear to a younger generation while sticking true to what we all expect in a bond film there are spectacular chase sequences and fights and bond is still bond but he's having to learn to deal with the world of me too the official 007 twitter account would share the harper's bizarre article appearing to confirm lynch will be 007 so these are these pictures that are supposedly this really really stunning and beautiful woman this just totally bombshell like you cannot not like this this is just the new style of beauty everyone has to like her you can't have women with long hair anymore you can't like white chicks or anyone who is in the majority you have to go along with this and it's just really really sad it's they're trying their hardest it's kind of pathetic and it makes me really really fear for what's going to happen with james bond in the future that about wraps things up hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you comment your thoughts on everything below hit the like button if you enjoyed what you saw subscribe if you're new and we'll see you on the next video